At this point, no one can convince me that club culture is not dead. A man's life just got ruined for relating with a woman at the club. The times are worse. People dance at the club, right? You could be dancing and mistakenly touch a lady, and then you will be called a pervert, an assaulter. There's no reason any man should freely walk into a place that could forever destroy everything he has built. The second reason why men are no longer going to clubs is that it is financially draining. If you're looking to burn a hole in your wallet, then the club is the perfect place to do so. Nightclubs nowadays employ harlots to serve drinks bought there and even offer free entry to other women in skimpy dresses who they know would be promiscuous as they know it makes them a lot of money. Once these women are inside, they get bombarded by thirsty and horny men who are more than happy to drop some serious cash on drinks for these ladies. These women are there for the free drinks and they have a couple devious tactics to do this. They sit and chat with a guy for a couple minutes, behave like they are really interested in him and in the conversation they are having with him. And before you know it, he's buying rounds like there's no tomorrow. And within a few minutes, the girl will make a quick exit with an excuse and she goes to another man, rinses and repeats. That's craziness to me, bro. Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. All right, so listen. The target population or the groups of people that this video is for will fall into three categories, right? One, this is this video is gonna be for those who are maybe 18, 19, or maybe you're older and you're thinking about stepping into the club scene for the first time. And hopefully this video will do one or two things for you. It will encourage you to don't even waste your time or it will mitigate some of the disappointment that you're gonna experience once you step out into the club scene, right? Two, the second group of people that this video is for are for those who are already experiencing this and just need to hear this affirmed or confirmed for them. I'm gonna confirm it for you. And the last group of people this is for are for those who are still leaving out hope that the club scene is gonna get better and that what they're experiencing is only relative to their city. You're wrong. I literally just stay to myself, bro. Like, I don't be having nothing against nobody. Nothing. I just, like, I ain't too big on, like, going to the club, linking, or, like, yeah, like. Nightclubs have turned into a thing of the past for most men out there. The few men who still go to nightclubs ignore the women there and just pick a corner to enjoy their time there in solitude. But why wouldn't men refuse to club anymore? They have realized that it is not worth it. But those are not the only reasons why men are saying no to clubbing there are more hidden dark sides to nightclubs. This video is to confirm that this is not only happening in your city and that it's happening all over the country and I have proof, all right? So pretty much this video is for everybody, right? Cause, Cause nine times out of 10, you're gonna fall into one of those categories, right? And what inspired me to make this video was two things. One, I, in the last two years, I've been all over the place. I've been to Dallas twice. I've been to Houston two or three times. I've been all over Arkansas, right? I've been to Florida. I've been to Memphis, Tennessee, right? I just got back from Las Vegas a, um, a, a couple of months back. I've been all over the place. And the same exact thing is happening everywhere. In fact, I would argue that it's getting worse every other place that I've, 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 I've visited. And I have friends who have experienced the same thing, not to mention that I've seen videos online of people already talking about this. At this point, no one can convince me that club culture is not dead. No one, because the, at this point, like in this day and age, it's not about, you know, people going out having fun. It's really about people getting as much money out of you as possible. The amount of money that they're charging people does not align with the quality that people are getting. So I don't know if y'all saw, but there's this whole discourse going on on Twitter talking about why do clubs suck now and why does club culture suck now? And we gonna get into it because I'll tell you why club culture sucks now. Step number one section culture if y'all really want to understand why clubs suck now you must understand that section culture has ruined clubs the fact that y'all want people to pay three hundred dollars for a bottle of hennessy and a thousand dollars for a section in a club that may or may not bust but then i can't have no more than eight people in my section or five people in my section it's crazy as hell especially on a random ass saturday when i'm trying to go outside and have a good time <laughs> Psychologist, what? so yeah, I probably what? struggle with psychology in a way. Don't quote me, but I kind of think it is because anytime my like non club and ass go to sleep in the club type person go to other places and I like go out, I have a blast, I have a fantastic time. And 
I think it also has something to do with like DJ culture. Like DJ culture in other countries be hitting on something different. Right. So this is happening all over the place, right? So it's a few things that you need to understand. One, the club scene. Most people go to clubs based on women, right? Notice I didn't say most men go to clubs based on women. Most people go to clubs based on women. Of course, if you go to a club and there is not a lot of women there, men are not gonna go, right? You're not, uh, uh, men, most men are not gonna go to a club where a bunch of men are at. Well, it's the same thing with women. Most women are not gonna go to clubs unless there's a decent amount of women that are there. Most women are not gonna go to a club with just a bunch of men. It's just not gonna happen. The world revolves around women. That's just the way it works, right? And so maybe that's not news for a lot of you. Is it a question tonight? Is the fun nature of the nightclub scene dying out? Some people have been complaining about how much the culture of the club has changed in the past few years. Instead of dancing, people have their eyes glued to their damn cell phones and posting on social media. And we can't forget to mention the cost after paying for parking entry and then a section that said private area with your little bottles. Some just aren't in a party mood anymore. Listen, I just want to interrupt for just a sec to say if you are enjoying this video, I ask that you please hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, if you want to help the channel, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It help pushes my video out there. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my second channel if you have not subscribed yet. Link is in the description. But I'm going to tell you what is going to be news for a lot of you. And a lot of you have experienced it. A lot of you have not. A lot of you have probably just heard about it. But I'm going to tell you what's happening all over the country. And it's getting worse and worse. And there's several videos out there that talk about this already. Women have become entitled, bro. The club scene has become weird. So, for example, I have a friend who travels for a living, right? And so that was the second thing that inspired me to make this video. Because he said when he started calling me about things that he was experiencing in other states, he was like, Didi. Bro, I want to tell you about what I experienced last night, bro, because I think you'll get a kick out of it. It's the same stuff we experienced in Arkansas. And it's everything. It's from him asking girls for their number. The girl giving him their number or their social media and ghosting them. They never respond. Him asking the girl for their number or their social media. Him getting their information and them responding to him just to ghost him after just a few replies. Him trying to get a girl's attention, being respectful, kind, he's well-mannered, well-dressed you know, make decent money, but don't even make it to that point. Him trying to get a girl's attention and literally pretending like he don't even exist. He doesn't even exist. This is not just happening in Arkansas, bro. We went to Dallas last weekend. So we get to Dallas and the same thing happens. He gets out there. One of my friends gets out there and he was like, bro, this has happened to me twice. He said, bro, I just tried to talk to a girl and she legit just walked past me like I wasn't talking to her. He's like, I tapped on one girl's shoulder. She turned around, saw it was me and then completely turned back around and walked off away from me. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, well, maybe it's anecdotal. It's not anecdotal because it's happening all over the place. A lot of you are going to say, well, there could be a million things happening in that moment. Maybe she has a boyfriend that's standing nearby, right? Maybe she thinks that you're unattractive, right? Maybe Think about this. It's happening all over the place. But like, okay, when I was in Vegas, we went to a nightclub. I was talking to a couple baddies in there, you know what I'm saying? Um that rapper g easy was performing in there but i was talking to some baddies but like they they kept on like walking off on me you know what i'm saying like i i didn't score nothing them four days i was there i tried i tried my hardest i got a bunch of numbers you know and this is like even with my hometown i feel like if you're an average dude um nightclubs aren't your thing like pensacola florida destin florida houston dallas las vegas Fayetteville, Arkansas, Memphis, Tennessee. These are all places we've been. It's weird now at these clubs. It's embarrassing. And we seeing the same thing. We get to Dallas. I had a friend who buys this girl a drink. And I told him, I said, bro, be careful. Because some of these girls are using guys just to get them drinks and they're going to walk off. He was like, nah, bro. She's actually about to buy me a shot. I was like, oh, you don't hear that very often. They walk up to the bar. And he's up there for about 10 minutes. And I was like, let me just walk over there and just see. I want to witness this girl buy him a shot. This never happens. So I walk over to the bar and I'm just standing off at a distance. And I, I watched him reach into She turned around, said something to him. He nodded his head and reached into his back pocket and got his wallet out. And I walked over there. I was like, no, 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 bro. What, what you doing? He was like, he turned around. He was like, bro, she got me, bro. She got me. And I was like, 
you about to buy her a shot? And he was like, yeah, but she, but she gonna dance with me and stuff though, bro. So he 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 gets the girl a shot, and she, true enough, she walked to the to the dance floor. And she danced with him. That was more than what my other friend had been getting. Walks to the dance floor. He's dancing with her. She, this girl may have danced with my friend for five minutes. Told him she had to go to the bathroom. Literally watched this girl walk to the bathroom, do a U-turn, come back to the middle of the crowd, and start dancing with her friends again. Gotcha, bitch. What is happening in the club scene? Because everything I just shared with you is just only part of the problem. Another part of the problem. You got women who come to clubs in groups, right? Mostly, most times it's going to be groups of other women, their friends, which as they should. I would encourage most women to step out like that. Never go out by yourself, especially at nighttime, especially in big cities. I 100% recommend it. There's no knock there. But this is what's happening all over the club scene. You have women that are coming out with their friends and then they're only dancing with their friends. I'm not knocking you if that's what you're comfortable with. But it's something deeper. Let's get to the root of the problem, right? There's something deeper happening when it's happening all over the country. You have women that come out with their friends, only dance with their friends. They dress up very attractively. So you're getting the attention of these men in these clubs who's want to buy you drinks, who's want to not even buy you a drink. Like they just want to dance. They just want to talk with you. They're getting no play. Or you're giving them your information or you're giving them false information and then you're not even dancing with them. You're ignoring them throughout the club. This is happening every single weekend. You're ignoring them. So the dudes don't get to dance with the girls because the girls don't want to dance. They only want to dance with their female friends. Okay, so let me get this straight. You came out to the club half naked, cleavage hanging out, extremely short shorts or short, short skirts. But I get it. You're not dressing that way so that men can notice you. You're dressing that way for yourself. You're dressing that way for your girlfriends. You, you're dressing that way just for confident purposes. It has nothing to do with attention. It has nothing to do with men giving you attention or, or wanting to come and talk to you. What? I got it. Note it. Note it. So you come out dressed this way. Men are giving you attention. They're coming towards you because they find you attractive. And I don't know, you kind of have everything hanging out. You give them no play. You pretend like they don't exist. This happens week in and week out. So what is it that a man has to do to get a woman's attention in a club on an average basis of course you have your exceptions to the rule some women will give some men some play but we talking about more times than not what's happening overwhelmingly across the country on a consistent basis week in and week in out is the same routine so what does a man have to do nine times out of ten you're gonna have to wear some sort of jewelry to communicate without even saying anything to the woman that hey he's probably involved in some sort of illegal activity or regardless if either one of those first two things are true He's getting money in some capacity. But what makes you stand out? Is that what a man has to do to be able to get a woman's attention in the club? Then you got guys, a, a, a certain percentage of the guys that are in the club that are too cool to dance. Listen, bro, don't invite me to the club no more if we just finna be standing around looking cute, bro. No, I'm here to be on the dance floor, bro. Y'all, because I'm I'm tired of seeing this. Like, why I go to the club last night, you know what I'm saying? So I, I pay like the $10 admission fee spent like 15 on a little drink bruh have me a nice fit going i'm feeling good i'm I, i'm ready to go out bro get in the club and everybody just just standing around trying to look pretty bro like bro i came here to be on the dance floor i'm here to turn up have a good time like i swear bro it's the same shit. like where do i have to go to have a, a genuinely good time in the club because i've been clubbing now the past year in three different cities bro uh, uh sacramento Sa san jose and san diego bro and every club is the same, bro. You 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 got these motherfuckers the sections. These motherfuckers just sitting around pop popping they fits, and these motherfuckers trying to just go home with somebody for the night. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't got nobody on the dance floor no more, bro. Nobody two stepping. Nobody drop that, 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 that. Like that's what I'm here for, bro. And if y'all if y'all ain't doing that, y'all just here to stand around and look pretty. Don't invite me to the club no more, bro. But the club culture is dead, bro. So they just want to stand over with their jewelry and their little nice t-shirt and their little nice shoes that they spent their check on. And they just want to be seen because they too cool. They don't even want a chance being rejected, right? So they'll just rather stand off to the side and just watch everybody dance, right? And then you got that group of people, group of men who come out and say, all right, cool. We understand the women are, are probably not giving most of the dudes in here no play. So we just going to have a good time. And then you have a good time. And then you feel unfulfilled because, like I said, most people go to clubs because of the women. What's happening? Because I'm only 29. So I heard back in the 90s that it was different. I heard that when you go to clubs back in the 90s, 
early two, especially early two thousands. I was old enough not to go to clubs, but I was I'm old enough to remember what it was like during the early 2000s. It wasn't like that, bro. When people went to clubs, everybody danced together. You understand? You had creeps then, you had criminals then, you had abusers then, you had people that were trying to spike drinks then, you had all sorts of weird stuff going on. But, and I'm not telling you to not be careful about that, but I'm saying it was a way to go about it. Go out with your friends, be careful, dance with a guy, don't give them your information if you don't want anything more out of it, and then leave the club. But I understand that, all dudes don't think that way. So some dudes will think like, if you dance with me, then you want me and I got to go home with you. I understand that from a woman's perspective, you want to be careful. But we talking about past that. Women have become arrogant, bro. From when they're, they're taking guys to the bar, getting them to buy them drinks and shots, pretending like they're interested to walk off. We did it! We did it! We did it! I'm not trying to seduce you. Would you like me to seduce you? We're talking about women literally pretending like they don't even hear you talking to them. I, I was in the club, this was what? This was last weekend, this was uh, last weekend, this was two days ago. This girl walked past me, true story. She dropped her card. This is walking through the crowd. She dropped her card. So I was like, here's a decision. I can reach down, get her card, and then tell her, like hand it to her, give it to her. But I was like, if I do that, she's going to be walked off a pretty d fair distance. Let me tap on her first. Hey, grab her card so that she can still be here when I raise up with it. Man, I tapped on this girl's shoulder. She turns around, sees that it's me. I go, hey, and I begin to reach down for her card. Completely ignores me, turns back around, continues to walk with her friends. I was like, yeah, I was like, I had a moment there where I was like, I could just leave her card. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. There's no reason to be that bitter. Just give her the girl, just pick up the card, give it to her, and just keep it moving, bro. So I pick up the card, and I was like, I followed her because she had got a, a fair distance away, and I, I caught up to her, and I was like, hey, you you dropped, and she was still ignoring me. I was like, hey, you dropped your card. And she turned around, and she started to reach for it, and I was like, and I just, I, I didn't like reject her from getting her card, but I just held it back for a second and said, why would you ignore me? Like, I'm a whole human being, bro. Why, why just ignore me? And she was a pretty attractive girl. So I'm like, she's probably gotten hit on several times in the club tonight. Who knows? But is that a reason to not even see what a person has to say to you? Is life that hard where you're so attractive, you get on hit on so much that you can't even hear what a person has to say? She was like, give me my card. And I was like, here's your card. That just And she just walked off. That's craziness to me, bro. And I'm speaking for a, a great group of individuals that go out to the club because this is past just like whatever words you want to use, guys who don't got game, right? This is not, we're not talking about those types of guys. We're talking about decent looking guys that make decent living, right? Dress in many different ways. So they present themselves in many different ways. Most men are experiencing the same thing in the club. So if you are a man and you're thinking about stepping out into the club scene, I'm just giving you a heads up on what's happening. If you in Memphis, Tennessee, if you in Las Vegas, if you in New York City, if you in North Carolina somewhere and you're experiencing the same thing, it's not relative to your city. It's happening all over the place. Women have become more afraid because of the danger that's out here. Women have become more entitled because of things like OnlyFans and what social media and the impact that social media has had on people. Um, men have become less confident to even approach women because everybody's getting rejected. Nobody's getting no play. It's like, I'm not even trying to take you out. Like, can we just dance and have a good time? I'll buy you a drink. Men are willing to spend money just to get a dance. Can't even get that because of a combination of different things. And I think part of the reason that it's gotten so bad is because of social media, right? Hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts. What have you experienced? Are you thinking about stepping into the club scene? I personally would say either don't even waste your time by doing it or two, if you do it, Please watch this video and understand that what I'm telling you is the majority and not the minority, right? It's the norm. It's not the exception. This is happening all over the country. Just Google it. YouTube it. There's many other videos out there, and I'm here to confirm that uh, it's happening, bro. Because not, not to, like, rag and rave on myself, but I don't have, like, a lot of trouble in real everyday life with women. I'm a pretty respectful guy. Tall, dark-skinned, well-spoken is what a lot of women claim that they want. But when you step into the club scene, oh, that's a whole different, man, women's confidence shoot through the roof because they understand that they're the prize. They understand that 
the ratio is probably 10 to 1, right? They understand that most men in there are looking at them and not the other way around. So they get to walk through there with their nose up. And they also understand the dangers that, that are out there. So even when a girl is interested, you got her friends that are with her pulling her away like, no, move, get away. And it's always most times the, the more unattractive friend that's doing that. So even when the girl is interested, they, I, I believe like most women and, and women, if you're watching this video, tell me if this is a thing or not. I feel like even when the women are interested, but they've come out with a group of their female friends, it seems to me that women come up with some sort of pact or they come up with some sort of agreement before they come to the club. And they say, hey, if a guy's interested and I'm intoxicated, don't even let me talk to him. Or even if I'm not that intoxicated, pull me away if I seem interested. Because that happens all the time. And I'm hearing guys talk about that all the time. Hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts. Have you experienced this? Are you thinking about stepping into the club scene? What do you think about everything that I'm talking about? What do you think contributes to the why th to the way things are today? Until next time, man. Peace. Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast.